have to lose. Call 1-800-452-7700 and start to think and grow rich. The current conditions... Six-hour forecast. information here on the Weather Channel. Join us again next week for Kate and Al. When you see this, you know it's time for the Weather Channel. The fastest way to get the weather you need when you need it. That's the Weather Channel. Well, we may be pretty lucky here on the 15th of August not to have anything in the tropics that we consider an immediate threat. To be sure, as you can see from this picture, we have a lot of disturbances that we're watching. We're tracking these across the Atlantic Ocean. Quite a number, three, three out over the Atlantic itself. We have one in the Caribbean, another one just approaching the east coast of Florida. And we even have our old depression here in the Gulf of Mexico. That's the one that came ashore around Jacksonville last uh, Saturday and has now moved uh, Saturday night and Sunday morning has moved on across. And right here it is now in the Florida Panhandle. Now the center of that is very close to being back out over the water. But on the other hand, we don't see any sign that that's getting any better organized. The pressures are not very low there at all. The wind isn't very high either. But there is a lot of rain, tremendous amount of rain this morning around Apalachicola, Florida. So that heavy rain is moving westward and in toward Mississippi and Alabama and perhaps eventually into the southeastern part of the state of Louisiana. Also down in the Caribbean, just south of Cuba, these thunderstorms have increased quite a lot during the day. Now let's uh, show you a little bit farther east. We'll put this into motion. You can see how all these have been moving. This is another tropical wave that's coming into the Western Caribbean Sea, but as time went by this morning, you'll see that the thunderstorms decreased quite a bit. At the same time, the northern part of that wave up north of Hispaniola, they've increased, but we don't see any sign of organization there. And now if we look at the picture up here in the Gulf, we can see the clouds kind of spiral around this circulation center, which has been drifting off to the west and maybe to the west-southwest. You can also see here south of Cuba how these thunderstorms have increased quite a lot during the last uh, oh, five, six hours. We wrap it in there if it happens at all. Now let's go farther out in the Atlantic and you can see how these waves are strung out all the way from Africa into the Caribbean Sea. And we'll examine those a bit closer as we look at the picture here out over the ocean. The only way that shows any kind of a little bit of a circuit not getting a bit better organized during the day as we can see it's moving off toward the west about 15 there's a way farther to the west and yet another one coming off the coast of africa but none of these right now anyway are showing any signs at all of getting better organized mm -hmm. <laughs> bacon Even better. Bacony Bacos makes every bite better. Good salad. Time now to look at the Florida forecast. And John pointed out the remnants of the old tropical depression, which came on in around Saturday night. Well, it's in the panhandle now. Looking at the radar, the rain is almost as far west as Pensacola, and it's spread up in Alabama as well. More thunderstorms this afternoon, likely throughout much of South Florida, especially over the land area. And you can see there's a general cloudiness surrounding the state which is blocking out some of the sunlight so it's only light to moderate as far as the sunshine index is concerned water temperature is uh, real juicy so if we could get the center of that old depression back out into the gulf of mexico it would be uh, more likely for formation there are 87 off of st petersburg and even the middle 80s are found there off the east coast so very hot bath water temperatures Forecast highs generally in the upper 80s to about 90 statewide. Of course, the temperature does drop sometimes when you get those thunderstorms.
Have you ever noticed that the people with the least time to waste always find time to read the Wall Street Journal? Perhaps it's because reading the journal had a lot to do with making them so busy in the first place. Call 800-351-7300 for this great journal subscription offer. 13 weeks for just $29.75 with a money-back guarantee. 13 weeks, $29.75. Phone 800-351-7300 now for the Wall Street Journal. Now it's time for the Michelin Drivers Report. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. And we're looking at the potential for some severe weather in the Northeast. Now, one line of thunderstorms has already moved offshore, went through Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So probably the best chance of severe weather here would be down toward Boston and the South Shore, where it's so hot and humid right now. It's been that way for a while. Another line of storms moving rapidly out of Ohio and West Virginia and uh, parts of western Pennsylvania. So that's another area to keep our eye on. Otherwise, the monsoonal showers in the west could become uh, or approach severe limits from time to time up there in North Dakota as well, and with the remnants of the tropical disturbance. Tornado watch till 5 p.m. now. It's cut away. There are only parts of Massachusetts and Connecticut involved with that watch area, so we'll keep an eye on that. Rainy travel there into the southeast and back into the west as well, especially in the mountains of Arizona, so please be careful. If you're traveling out there, flooding could occur. And some very gusty winds behind that front. Buffalo has been gusting about 35 miles per hour during the past hour and throughout the Lake Erie area as well. United States athletes and Michelin, top performers. Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. The 36 hour forecast. Vote in your questions to the Weather Channel hurricane expert, John Hope on Hurricanes, Sunday, August 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for joining us here at the Weather Channel. I'm Cam Carmen along with Jeff Morrow. Some severe weather up into the northeast and also some big storms popping up over the southeast. That's exactly right, Cam. Some moisture left over from what was a tropical depression in the southeast. We'll take all the rain we can get, but other parts of the country, boy, is it mm -hmm. hot right. and humid. Whew. Let's go take a look at it right now. It just makes me uh, a little bit uh, overheated just thinking about some of that heat. It's got to take the cake. In Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, that's the central part of Missouri, the apparent temperature, what it feels like when you factor in both the heat, which is 100 degrees there, and the humidity, it feels like 123 degrees. Ooh, that is really rough. Let's go topside and take a look at the satellite vantage point. The reason it is so hot and so humid here, we have a big sprawling ridge of high pressure dominating the weather in the midsection of the nation, not allowing any moisture to build up and hardly even forming any clouds, let alone any rain. So. The moisture that is in the air just has no mechanism to squeeze it out and maybe make it a little bit cooler or drier. It's just hanging around there with all that heat. It just feels oppressive outside. There again, you can see some of the moisture that Cam alluded to, some of the thunderstorms popping up in the southeast and quickly moving through the northeast. Let's go to the weather map and see how that's shaping up. The reason for the severe thunderstorms in the northeast, primarily this cold front, it is rapidly racing eastward. and. 
The thunderstorms have been racing as well, upwards of 50 and 60 miles per hour. Some of these storms, when I came in here two hours ago, the storms were back moving through the Albany area. Now they've zoomed off the eastern seaboard, which we'll show you on radar in a little bit. And likewise, these storms in Ohio are zooming along as well. And so they'll be here and gone very, very quickly. This satellite vantage point already out of date. It shows the line all the way from Portland back on into the Berkshires, western Massachusetts. That line has now progressed all the way off the coast. Tornado watch still in effect here until 5 p.m. Eastern daylight time. But again, those storms are rapidly moving eastward. Some new ones will have to develop. As we look to the southeast, some big thunderstorms popping up in the Appalachian Mountains of western North Carolina, also coastal South Carolina into Georgia, and again, Florida covered up with some pretty big storms. A lot of those offshore today, with the exception here down in the Everglades, but I think more will pop up in interior areas as we head through the rest of the afternoon. A little bit of a swirl here to the clouds in southern Alabama. That's the remnants of that depression, and some pretty big thunderstorms apt to fire up there, as well as in central and southern parts of the state of Mississippi. As we head to the north, we find a cool area of high pressure across the Great Lakes. That's bringing some temporary relief to the heat there, but this is some of those thunderstorms plowing through southeastern parts of the state of Ohio. Very, very rapid movers. As we head to the west, we see some of the effects of the monsoonal flow, and a lot of people think monsoon means heavy rain. It doesn't. It means seasonal wind, and the winds kicking up from the south at this time of the year bring lots of moisture and hence some thunderstorms in the rainy time of the year there. Here's the temperatures across the country already at 100 in Wichita, 93 in Chicago, 101 at the nation's capital. Makes it feel like 106 when you factor in the humidity, 104 as you head on down to Little Rock in Arkansas. Here's the national radar. A couple of quick local radar stops. Our first stop taking us to Athens, Georgia, and shows the thunderstorms developing in the mountains, also from Macon on over south of Augusta and into the sand hills of South Carolina moving northwest. Second stop taking us to Pittsburgh and some pretty big storms east of Parkersburg here. Those are remnants of those big thunderstorms I was showing you. They've raced across Ohio and are now into the state of West Virginia. And our action radar takes us to Chatham, Massachusetts. And you can see some of the rain quickly moving on off the coast here. And it's not wasting any time either, moving at about all oh, 50 to 60 miles per hour. The heaviest sails now moving into the Atlantic. Wherever your outdoor activities lead you, take along Coleman products. Coolers, lanterns, tents, smokers, boats, and RVs. Coleman. Visit your local Coleman dealer today. It's time to check out how the weather makes us feel, and with all this oppressive heat over much of the country, temperatures feeling quite a bit warmer once we do factor in that humidity. You can see through the country's midsection the darker shades of red. Temperatures going to be at their highest and into the danger zone, feeling up to 100 to 105 degrees. So if you're heading outside, take it easy in these areas. Also, you'll find from Boston all the way down the eastern seaboard and again out to the desert, some quite warm temperatures. Mold spores on the high side throughout the upper Mississippi Valley and back down into the southern half of the U.S., also throughout the Four Corners region, mostly into southern Arizona, southern New Mexico areas. And ragweed also a little high up into parts of New England and on the moderate side from the Great Lakes back to the mid-Atlantic coast. Jeff? Okay, thank you very much, Cam. And the Bowdoin Beach Report is sponsored by BVD Underwear. America, do it better. Do it in your BVDs. Well, let's take a look at the boating advisories. In the northeast, winds a little bit gusty today, particularly there in the uh, Great Lakes region. Ooh. And we'll talk about small craft advisories from Eastport on down to Watch Hill and much of Maine covered up with lake wind advisories. Some gusty thunderstorms just moved through that area and maybe a few more developing later this afternoon. So not much sunshine there, kind of hit and miss, but farther to the south, a good deal of sunshine. And believe me, well, the water temperature's really gone down in Ocean City. Last week it was up into the 70s, but it will oscillate like that depending on whether the wind is onshore or offshore and you get some upwelling. Water temperatures to the south all in the 80s because of the thunderstorms developing here. We don't have too much in the way of sunshine. No boating advisories, but watch out for those locally heavy thunderstorms. Carolina coast and down to Florida and the Gulf Coast of Mississippi and Alabama. Point St. George down to San Nicolas Island on the west coast. Small craft advisories are in effect. And there's your sunshine outlook. Looks pretty good, except for the Pacific Northwest Coast. I'm even jazzier in my BVDs. Hey, I drive even faster in my BVDs. I'm more intimidating in my BVDs. BVD brand underwear. Whatever you do, that extra comfort helps you do it better. I became a TV heartthrob in my BVDs. America, do it better in your BVDs. Now on sale at participating stores. 
At my age, I've done just about everything in my BBDs. Since you don't buy a refrigerator every day... I should have bought a frigid air! I got a Frigidaire. Ask for the one that lasts and lasts. I should have bought a Frigidaire. I finally got a Frigidaire. For the Frigidaire dealer nearest you, call 1-800-451-7007. I'll take the Frigidaire. Now. Frigidaire, here today, here tomorrow. See the Frigidaire dealer nearest you. The current conditions. The 36 hour forecast. weather information here on the Weather Channel. Time to check out your good afternoon forecast and we'll take a look at the current map and see that frontal system draping through the northeastern part of the country bringing with it some heavy rains to New England. Still got a tornado watch in effect and it will remain in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern time. We'll keep you updated on that but we've also got those heavy storms down into the southeast, mostly throughout southern Georgia over Florida. The Florida Panhandle seeing quite a bit of rain. Out to the west, things looking pretty calm, mostly high pressure dominating, but by the later hours, we'll continue to see those monsoonal type showers kick up throughout the Four Corners region. Now, we've got this cold front. We'll be watching that as it will probably bring some rains by early morning tomorrow and throughout uh, the southeast, again, dotting the eastern seaboard with those rains also from the Carolina coast. And that frontal system will also bring some rain to the mid-Atlantic coast. What we can expect for later afternoon tomorrow, cold front dotting some showers throughout South Dakota, stretching down through parts of Nebraska and back into the Four Corners region as well. And for the next 24 hours, it looks like that rain could be locally heavy throughout the northeastern part of the country from Maine, stretching all the way back down through Pennsylvania and throughout the southeastern part of the country. Those high temperatures going to continue throughout the country's midsection. It's 100 degree highs from the Plain States all the way back down through Oklahoma and Texas and those high 90s continuing with the high humidity as well throughout much of the east and those deserts continuing to sizzle also with 100 degree temperatures. 70s and 80s as we wake up tomorrow in the lower Mississippi Valley all the way back down to, uh, to the mid-Atlantic coastal states and a cool uh, trend throughout the Pacific Northwest with 30s, 40s and 50s. With very heavy weather in the Galveston Bay area. Hurricanes across extreme southeast Florida. Each season, an increasing threat to our rapidly growing coastal population. Across Long Island in the southern New England. On Sunday, August 21st, phone the Weather Channel hurricane expert, John Hope, who will answer your questions about hurricanes. Finally, after the center gets west of New Orleans. John Hope on Hurricanes, Sunday, August 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Weather Channel. We'll take a look at the rest of the work week weather-wise, and the heat will continue in many areas of the country. If you're doing some traveling over the next 24 hours, well, you want to stay tuned for the business travel forecast.
Eating Smart is sponsored by Bacos. Only Bacos give your salads that bacony Bacos crunch. Now, here's Bonnie McLaughlin with some fresh ideas for salad. Salads make some of my favorite hot weather meals. That's because they're not only easy on the cook, but they're packed with all the nutrition of fresh produce. Make sure the salad greens you serve are at the peak of freshness and food value by buying just a week's worth at a time. They'll store well at home for another week if kept cold, moist, and undamaged. First, give the greens a quick washing. Soaking the leaves makes them limp, so instead, rinse away dirt and grit under cold running water. Then dry the leaves. A salad spinner does the job quickly and without bruising. Pack the dry greens loosely in plastic food bags, press out extra air, seal, and store in the crisper drawer of the refrigerator. When preparing the salad, you can cut or tear the leaves, but torn leaves hold their nutrients better and are slower to discolor than cut leaves. Dress the salad at the last minute, add garnishes for taste and crunch, and serve up a cool creation at the peak of freshness. Mmm, this salad is unbelievable. And great, this, uh, Bacos. It's even better. Bacony Bacos makes every bite better. Mm. See John Hope on Hurricane, Sunday, August 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Weather Channel. If you suffer from any of these medical problems, a contour chair with optional heat and massage may help. I'm Art Linkletter, and I'm concerned about these health problems. That's why I want to mail you this free contour chair catalog. You see, contour chairs are orthopedically designed to provide the kind of firm support you need to help reduce pressure on your legs, thighs, hips, and back. And to raise your legs above your heart, all you have to do is press this button. If you're concerned about your health, Get free facts by mail about Contour. Find out about the marvelous relaxation that comes from the proper positioning of your body. Let me mail you this free Contour Chair catalog filled with details on the health benefits Contour Chairs provide. Call me to get this important free information by mail now. Call 1-800-247-6600. That's 1-800-247-6600. Toll free. Call 1-800-247-6600. Stay tuned for the Days in 5-Day Business Planner, keeping track of storm systems, hazardous weather, and poor road conditions that may affect your business travel. The Days in 5-Day Business Planner, coming up in just a few minutes, right here on the Weather Channel, only on cable. The 36-Hour Forecast. channel. It's a hot one out there today and it's going to continue to be very hot for much of the country as we look ahead to Wednesday. Well, it looks pretty much like today's. Maybe a little bit of a cool down in the far northern plains and northern New England. Other than that, it's pretty much the same old, same old 90s and 100s throughout the midsection of the nation, parts of the southeast. The Appalachians may cool down a little bit, the desert southwest continuing to bake and pretty much the same story. And again, there is some relief on the way temperature-wise for the Great Lakes. You're already seeing a little bit of that now, but you'll get another reinforcing shot as we head through the latter part of the week. And you can see the 90s trying to build right back up into Montana. It's really been a hot summer in eastern Montana. More 100s in the south central plains and more 100 in teens in the desert southwest. As we track the next frontal system across the northern tier of states, we'll see some strong thunderstorms accompanying that front. It really moves quickly to the eastern seaboard by Thursday, arcing on back through the plain states. Then some tropical moisture still scattered about the Gulf Coastal areas, and that's why the thunderstorms there. Finally, the front stalling out a bit as we head on through the day on Friday in the Carolinas back through the Central Plains. Very much isolated monsoonal thunderstorms out through the Rockies and a few sprinkles moving into the Pacific Northwest. You really have to be careful.
careful out there. The road's full of surprises. Since I got Michelin's, I feel in control. I'm sure of myself and my car. Look, no tire can stop surprises. I know. But with Michelin, you can be ready for them. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. The heat continues over much of the nation, and the heat wave alert continues here at the Weather Channel. First of all, we'll start off with some record highs popping up over the country already. Baltimore, 101 degrees, 99 at Washington, D.C., Roanoke, Virginia, also Philadelphia reporting records. Some temperatures across the country right now, currently in, 100, in Wichita, Kansas, 100 degrees and warming as we move down to uh, Dallas, 96 degrees there. But once we factor in that heat index, temperatures feeling even warmer with that humidity in. 106 for Dallas, 106 in Wichita, Kansas. Look at that, St. Louis, or uh, Kansas City, rather, 112 degrees. And also some 100s popping up along the eastern seaboard there, 104 at the Big Apple, 106 at the nation's capital. And also warm out to the west, 101 degrees is what it feels like in Phoenix, Arizona. Heat index going to be in the danger zone in the map. In the areas you do see the darker shades of red, crank up that air conditioning. Take it easy if you're heading outside. What we can expect for forecast highs later on this afternoon. This pocket of 100 degree highs will continue to make its way up through the Plain States this afternoon. High humidity will also be taking over from the lower Mississippi Valley to the eastern coast. Stay with us. We'll be right back. In business, a lot can happen. If you want to keep up every week, you have a choice. Not Forbes, not Fortune. You can read Business Week, or you can read a week of the Wall Street Journal. Business Week is designed for busy people. A quick scan of the contents page, and you'll have all the events of the week that interest you, compellingly told in both words and pictures. If you want to keep up with what's going on out there every week, all year long, there's more than one way to go about it. The choice is yours. Subscribe to Business Week right now, and you'll get 32 issues for the low basic rate of only $24.95, a savings of more than 60% off the cover price. And along with your paid subscription, Business Week will send you the Business Week Compact Office on the Go free. Here's how to subscribe. To order, call toll-free 1-800-826-6868. That's 1-800-826-6868. The current conditions. The 36 hour forecast. here on the Weather Channel. Time now for the Weather Channel Lawn and Garden Extra. Tips to help your lawn and garden grow. Most of us maintain our lawn because it makes our home more enjoyable and enhances its beauty and value. But a healthy lawn also brings about other benefits which you may not know about. These green grass leaves convert carbon dioxide and air pollutants into oxygen. An average sized lawn can release enough oxygen every day for a family of four people. Your lawn also functions as an air conditioner. Water evaporating off grass cools the area around your house. Temperatures at ground level may be 20 to 30 degrees lower than adjacent paved areas. Grass also filters out dust and absorbs sound, reducing noise levels by as much as 30%. A thick, fully covered lawn will cut down on soil erosion and runoff of chemicals and debris into water reserves. And of course, a well-cared-for lawn provides a rich habitat for our wildlife friends. So consider a cleaner, healthier environment around your home just another reward for all your hard work. Our world is changing, and the changes that are happening to our planet Earth may change the way we live sooner than we ever imagined. 
On Sunday, August 28th, a special 90-minute presentation on the Weather Channel helps you understand the environmental forces shaping a new world. The greenhouse effect, acid rain, the diminishing ozone layer. Phone in your questions to a panel of experts when we consider the global crisis. Sunday, August 28th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Weather Channel. And now stay tuned for the day's in five-day business planner. America's waking up to day's end. Late this afternoon, we'll find a frontal system plowing through the northeast. It is extremely warm and humid, as Cam showed you just a little while ago. Lots of 100s apparent temperatures, over 100 degrees in the northeast, mid-Atlantic coast. And as this cold front plows into that warm and humid air, some big thunderstorms have already erupted and quickly zoomed out into the Atlantic Ocean. And maybe a few more might erupt as we head through the afternoon hours. Behind it, a little bit of breath of fresh air across the Great Lakes and on into the northeast eventually. You can see that front quickly moves off the coast by early morning hours on Tuesday to be followed by yet another front quickly moving out into the plains by late tomorrow afternoon. Now, down near the Gulf Coast this afternoon and again tomorrow afternoon, you'll find a scattering of showers and thunderstorms, some locally heavy. Again, some tropical moisture mixed in here. We had a depression on off Florida over the weekend. It has since moved inland. And again, some big thunderstorms may pop out ahead of that next front through the central plains and down into the Four Corners area as well. Here's your Monday high temperatures, and they're hot continuing to be very hot today all the way from South Dakota right on down into North Texas the desert southwest and the heat continues to be on right through Tuesday and Wednesday if this sounds like a broken record <laughs> well it's basically been the same pattern for quite some time a little bit of a change here we do have the cooler air maybe moving a bit farther south into the Ohio Valley in the northeast so maybe a little bit of a break there as a couple of fronts one today and one through midweek and on Thursday moves through the area you can see New England on into Pennsylvania New York State southern New England, only getting up into the 70s on Friday, which will be quite nice. And on into your weekend, still rather cool there, so a nice start to the weekend, but still lots of 90s with plenty of humidity across much of the Southland. As far as precipitation goes, again, we'll track most of the heavier thunderstorms along that next front as it quickly moves eastward. On into Thursday, you can see the strong storms may be again, kind of a replay of what you're seeing today it may happen again on Thursday with scattering of showers and thunderstorms near the Gulf Coast, out through the plains, isolated the main word there to remember in the Rockies with that monsoonal moisture. Again, the steady southerly winds around that high bringing in some moisture and helping to pop up those isolated thunderstorms right on into the weekend. And again, it'll be rather unsettled near the Gulf Coast. Bit of an easterly flow here helping to bring in lots of moisture to the southeast. Now let's take a look at a few local conditions and forecasts. about days in simple super saver program restrictions do apply and simple super saver rooms are limited so call now cam thanks jeff we're still keeping an eye out for tornadoes into new england we'll tell you where plus a current weather check coming up we've barely made it through a first year tom and i figured something out if we can find a place to stay a nice place that costs <laughs> half as much as the places you've been staying you and I will stay in business. If not, we're history. Call Days In. America's waking up to us. Tom, we're going to make it. Call 800 325 2525 for reservations at Days Ends nationwide. Let's take a look now at this afternoon's weather. We'll tell you what's going to be going on throughout the country, throughout the rest of the afternoon. We'll start things off with a satellite picture. Climb up top and take a look down. We can put that into motion and see those storms brewing into the southern part of the country from the Carolinas back through parts of southern Georgia. The panhandle of Florida seeing quite a bit of heavy rainfall as well into Apalachicola. We'll take a look at that a little later on, a closer look. Also, some severe weather up into New England and a tornado watch will remain in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern time. We'll show you where in just a few seconds. Also, uh, quite a bit of clouds making their way into the northern part of the country. We could see some storms erupt within the later hours of the afternoon as well. On the current map, we'll show you that frontal system draping its way through the northeastern part of the country, producing some heavy rains throughout parts of Maine and New York, back into Pennsylvania, also stretching down through parts of West Virginia. But a lot of rain falling down into the southeast, 
throughout Georgia, Carolinas, back into Alabama and Florida. Some temperatures currently across the nation. 90s and 100s dotting the eastern seaboard there. Uh, 101 at the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. also. Some 90s throughout the Plain States. 100 degrees at Wichita, Kansas. 94 in Oklahoma City and warm as we head out to the west. 81 for Great Falls, Montana. 98 in Phoenix, Arizona. 70 for Reno, Nevada. National radar picture will show us now that things remaining quite clear out to the west, but as we move into the eastern part of the country, some heavy rains popping up, mostly down into the southeast. A couple of radar stops now. First one will take us into uh, Portland, Maine. Here's the radar site here, and we've got uh, thunderstorms and scattered showers within the area. Those storms moving quite rapidly to the northeast at about 40 to 45 miles per hour. And our second radar stop will take us down to Apalachicola, Florida. Here's the panhandle here in the radar site. You can see quite a bit of rain shower activity throughout that area as well. Scattered thunderstorms producing some very heavy rain and those storms moving to the southeast at about 15 miles per hour. We've got the, we're still keeping an eye on the drought situation here at the Weather Channel still remaining into the extreme category on the short-term map up throughout the northern Rocky states of Montana and also over into parts of the Dakotas and throughout the Corn Belt area as well. On the long-term map, it looks like uh, to put an end to the drought, still quite a uh, bit of rain is needed, up to 5 to 10 inches of rain in some areas. And what we can expect in the way of rain over the next 24 hours, still we'll be looking for those heavy amounts of rain throughout the Panhandle and out uh, through southern Florida as well, up to 1 to 2 inches possible. And with those th heavy thunderstorms in the New England area, 1 to 2 inches possible as well, We'll also continue to keep an eye on the Pacific Northwest and the West. Inside every family across the USA, there's one person responsible for making ends meet. She's sharp of mind, sharp of pencil. Harold, I sure hope you're running some budget rent a car this vacation. Already done. I'm sure glad we married you. Couldn't move, Daddy. Leisure travelers find great car rental values by moving to budget for some very personal reasons. When making reservations, ask for the special weather channel rate. Local forecast is sponsored by Kleenex brand facial tissues. Kleenex says, bless you. If you're allergic to things, the difference in Kleenex tissue is reassuring. Phew. Kleenex has added nothing extra. It's just pure Kleenex tissue, pure and simple. <laughs> Kleenex says, bless you. The 36-hour forecast. five-day forecast. Stay tuned for more weather coverage here on the Weather Channel. With very heavy weather in the Galveston Bay area. Hurricanes. Across extreme southeast Florida. Each season, an increasing threat to our rapidly growing coastal population. Across Long Island in the southern New England. On Sunday, August 21st, phone the Weather Channel hurricane expert, John Hope, who will answer your questions about hurricanes. Finally, after the center gets west of New Orleans. John Hope on Hurricanes. Sunday, August 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Weather Channel. Wayne Newton sings the Beastie Boys can be you. When you see this, you know it's time for the Weather Channel. The fastest way to get the weather you need when you need it. That's the Weather Channel. And thanks for sticking with us here at the Weather Channel. I'm Cam Carmen along with Jeff Morrow. And those heavy thunderstorms up into the northeastern part of the country could pose quite a threat to travelers. Uh, they could indeed, but probably the biggest travel problem is maybe the heat. You better have air conditioning in your car if you're traveling through the central plains. 
Now that you've moved here to Atlanta, do you have air conditioning in your car? Yes, I do. Yes, in my, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely have to have I it. keep it on high. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Running constantly. Well, if you don't have air conditioning in your car, you can always use the old 260 air conditioning method. You know, roll down both windows and go 60 miles an hour, provided the speed limit is 65. You don't want to break the law. Now, in the southeast, we do have those thunderstorms very widely scattered. They will bring some temporary relief to some of the heat and humidity, particularly down across the south, and as Cam alluded to, some of those thunderstorms in the northeast could really pose a problem. They're isolated, and they're really fast moving. Uh, if you stayed at one spot and the storm moved by, and maybe you were in the basement, if you, <laughs> if you didn't know, you might not know it rained because they went by so fast. They're moving at like 60 miles an hour. Some of the biggest storms are already moving off the northeast coast, but it's in that area where there continues to be a tornado watch out until 5 p.m. The area is shaded in red here through central New England, Se or 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And farther to the south, a brand new watch, some big thunderstorms moving through West Virginia, perhaps the panhandle areas of Maryland, and on down perhaps into western Virginia, and that's out until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Of course, the showers and thunderstorms could put down a lot of rain in a short period of time, could slicken up the roadways and reduce the visibilities, and the thunderstorms could cause some gusty winds. Outside of that, watch out in the eastern Great Lakes today. To me, investing is a lifelong proposition. Whether you're 25 or 55, whatever your individual goals, you must be diversified. You've simply got to build a prudent mix, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, CDs, fixed income securities. Investing today means avoiding conflicts of interest. Get your advice independent of the broker performing your transactions. Today, more than ever, it's critical to reduce your investing costs. If you make your own decisions, you ought to be able to cut your commission costs in half, trade after trade, year after year. The savings over the long haul can maximize your total return. If you define investing as I do, when you choose a broker, I hope you consider Schwab. For a free booklet, what a discount broker can do for you, call toll-free 800-832-9090. That's 800-832-9090. Call Schwab now. Time to take a look now at international weather, and if you're heading over to Europe, you'll find quite nice weather throughout the northern part of the continent. Back into Poland, the Germany, 70 degree highs dominating over much of the month. A little cooler as you move up into the British Isles. Now you might want to bring along a sweater if you're taking the vacation to Scotland or England. 60 degree temperatures there, but again warm. That bathing suit weather, those sunny skies continuing throughout much of Greece and Italy, on into Spain as well. A little bit of rainfall throughout the month of August for parts of France and also stretching back into uh, parts of Poland and into the Germanys as well. 15 to 18, 10 to 15 days out of the month, we'll continue to see rain. A little wetter as we move up to the British Isles, 18 to 21 there. What we're expecting for Tuesday, mostly high pressure will continue to dominate over much of Europe. We'll see this cold front stretch through back through, through parts of Yugoslavia, but not much in the way of rain. Just a little bit of shower activity up into the northern part of Europe and into parts of the British Isles and the UK. What we can expect for high temperatures, 60s throughout the United Kingdom, 70s will dominate much of the rest of the continent and warm as we move down to the southern half. We'll see uh, partly cloudy skies in Brussels, Belgium tomorrow with a high in the low 80s. Tuesday, in London, we'll see fair skies with a high in the upper 60s in Paris, partly cloudy with a high near 80 degrees. Burglary. It seems to be happening everywhere these days, even in neighborhoods like mine. This time, it was right next door. That's why I invested in the Home Protector from Black & Decker. It's a professional quality security system that's affordable and gives my home and family reliable protection. These compact entry sensors are wireless and were easy to install on my windows and doors. Other components just plug in, but the protection you get is serious. Any intrusion attempt is met by flashing lamps and piercing sirens that operate even if the controller is destroyed. So, if you'd like to know more about Home Protector, do what I did. Call for this free information package today. For complete details on the Home Protector from Black & Decker, call 1-800-453-1600. That's 1-800-453-1600. Call today. The current conditions. our forecast.
latest weather information here on the Weather Channel. But that's when the highest storm surge is going Hold to be. Hold in your questions to the Weather Channel hurricane expert, John Hope on Hurricanes, Sunday, August 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. The business travel forecast is sponsored by Budget Rent-A-Car, low rates on great cars like the luxurious Lincoln Town Car. Inside every family across the USA, there's one person responsible for making ends meet. She's sharp of mind, sharp of pencil. Harold, I sure hope you're running from budget rent a car this vacation. Already done. I'm sure glad we married you. Who didn't move, Daddy? Leisure travelers find great car rental values by moving to budget for some very personal reasons. When making reservations, ask for the special weather channel rate. Homeowners, introducing Gardenway's amazing Super Tomahawk Chipper Shredder. As every homeowner knows, it doesn't take long to accumulate a good-sized pile of brush, downed limbs, hedge prunings, and other materials. But once the pile's built up, you have to dispose of it. The amazing Super Tomahawk will easily turn an entire pile of brush into valuable mulch and composting material that's free for the making and ideal for smothering weeds around your trees and shrubs. The Super Tomahawk will shred just about any kind of material including brush, leaves, vines, and more. Plus, unlike ordinary shredders, the Super Tomahawk has a separate chipping chamber to handle larger materials, including branches up to three inches thick. So if you want to clean up brush piles the easy way and get mountains of free mulch like this, call toll-free 1-800-826-2220 for complete details on the amazing Super Tomahawk from Gardenway. That's 1-800-826-2220. Call today. Operators are standing by. Time to check in again with this afternoon's weather, and we'll get things going with that satellite picture once again and show you those storms brewing over the southeastern part of the country. Put that map into motion, and we can see quite a bit of heavy shower activity from Florida back up through southern Georgia and into the Carolinas as well, and also some powerful th storms erupting throughout West Virginia and up into the New England states as well. A couple of, uh, we've got a severe thunderstorm watch in effect. We'll show you that a little bit later. Also, a tornado effect over much of New England remaining in effect until 5 p.m. Take a look now at the current map, and we'll show you that frontal system. It's draping through the northeastern part of the country, dropping some heavy rains, but those rains moving quite rapidly, and also some rain down into the southern half of the country, like uh, throughout parts of Florida and into Alabama, Mississippi, also back into the Galveston Bay part of Texas, and throughout New Mexico as well. Most of the rest of the west remaining fairly quiet, those monsoons kicking up a little shower activity throughout the Four Corners region and back up into the Great Basin area, but nothing much going on there as far as rain. Warm temperatures still hanging on, though. We do have that uh, tornado watch in effect until 5 p.m. Over the areas, you do see the shades in red, and we'll keep you updated on that throughout the day. Also, that severe thunderstorm watch now in effect until 8 p.m. over much of southern Pennsylvania, much of West Virginia as well. Some current temperatures across the nation. Some 80s and 90s making their way into the south. 98 for Nashville, Tennessee. A little warm there. 86 for Atlanta, Georgia. We'll find some 100s as we stretch up to the northern part of the country. 101 in Des Moines, Iowa, as well as Wichita, Kansas. And 90 degrees for Bismarck, North Dakota. Even warmer as we move out to the west. 94 in Las Vegas, 100. And Phoenix, Arizona, 73 for Eugene, Oregon. National radar picture now will show us most of those rains popping up are sticking into the southern half of the country. From the Carolina coast all the way back down through the Gulf of Mexico and heavy into Florida throughout the Panhandle regions region and also into the southern part of the state and again up into the New England area those heavy powerful thunderstorms erupting couple of radar stops now
take us first of all into Charleston, South Carolina. Here's the radar site. Here's some heavy rain stretching all the way back down into parts of southern Georgia as well throughout Savannah and Waycross. Those scattered showers producing some thunderstorms and they're moving off to the northwest at about 18 miles per hour. Our second radar stop will now take us into Corpus Christi, Texas throughout the bay and we can see this radar site here producing some heavy showers throughout the area as well, producing some heavy rain northwest. Those storms are moving at about 10 miles per hour. We're still keeping an eye on the drought here at the Weather Channel. It still looks like things are remaining into the extreme category up into the northern plain states, mostly throughout Montana, stretching over into the Dakotas. And it looks like what it would take to end the drought, still 5 to 10 to 15 inches of rain in some areas. Now, we are seeing the rain, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough to put an end to this uh, situation. But what we can expect for the next 24 hours, mostly the heavy rains will be concentrated down along the Gulf of Mexico, throughout parts of Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi. And those afternoon showers, again, picking up throughout parts of uh, Florida. And from the mid-Atlantic coastal states all the way up to, into the New England area, mostly heavy throughout Maine, New Hampshire, and uh, Vermont. Also in the Massachusetts area, we could see some heavy rains. And again, out to the west, mostly those afternoon monsoons kicking up throughout parts of Arizona and New Mexico. Phone in your questions to a panel of experts when we consider the global crisis. Sunday, August 28th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Weather Channel. Oh. She was talking with Kermit. <laughs> See John Hope on Hurricanes, Sunday, August 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Weather Channel. It's time to renew our environmental commitments. The greenhouse effect, the destruction of the ozone layer, acid rain, are no longer just theoretical possibilities. They are immediate threats to all of us. Our world is changing, and the changes that are happening to our planet Earth may change the way we live sooner than we ever imagined. And that's not in the lives of our grandchildren or our children. That's in our lives. On Sunday, August 28th, a special 90-minute presentation on the Weather Channel helps you understand the environmental forces shaping a new world. The greenhouse effect, acid rain, the diminishing ozone layer. What's being done to preserve a habitable Earth? Is there still time to reverse the destruction? What can you do to make a difference? Phone in your questions to a panel of experts when we consider the global crisis. Sunday, August 28th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Weather Channel. Programming of the Weather Channel is protected under the copyright laws of the United States and is intended solely for the use of our subscribers. Reproduction or other use of this programming without the express written permission of the network is prohibited. The 36-hour forecast. day forecast. Stay tuned for more weather updates here on the Weather Channel. It's a good afternoon forecast time. Jeff Moore along with Cam Carmen, and we hope you're having a great afternoon wherever you are. And weather-wise, it's a hot one out there, particularly here through the nation's heartland. We're looking at temperatures well up over the century mark in many spots, but then when you factor in the humidity, some areas are well up into the 100 and teens and taking the cake today as Fort Leonard Wood in Missouri feels like 123 at last check. That is unbelievably oppressive air. So if you happen to be around central Missouri in particular, because Jefferson City is not that far behind and neither is St. Louis, just really slow down out there today. Don't try to overdo it. I can tell you for one thing that I was outside doing some yard work in the southeast over the weekend and that heat and humidity can really get to you. Let's take a look at the later afternoon hours. Some cooling thunderstorms in the southeast scattered about the Rockies and also some pretty big thunderstorms as we've been talking about moving through New England. Some big ones moving on through the Fitchburg and Lemister area in Massachusetts right now. 
scattered about the southeast again by early tomorrow morning. Some tropical moisture left over here, the remnants of a depression, and could easterly flow here. Nice fetch off the Atlantic, continuing to bring in some moisture. Some leftover showers in northern Maine, but that would be about it for there. The main trend there is much, much cooler temperatures. We'll get to that in a second. First of all, precipitation potential, where you see the darker green, that's where you might expect the heaviest rain, and that would be mainly from thunderstorms in New England near the Gulf Coast. And again, those monsoonal winds helping to bring in moisture to spark up a few thunderstorms in Arizona and perhaps New Mexico and Colorado. Here's your highs today, and boy, they are sweltering. They're hot, they're humid. What else can we say? Stay indoors. Don't let even the dog and cat go outside. They may start panting. It's really hot out there. Forecast lows, by the way, though, dogs have a much harder time with the heat and the humidity than the cats do, so watch out for your dog. Now, 70s and 80s, watch out for those low temperatures. It's not even gonna get below 80 degrees here in parts of Missouri. And St. Louis last night it didn't get below 80 degrees for a low temperature. That is very, very warm. And if you want to cool down, I guess, aside from the air conditioning, take a trip out to the Northwest. It's nice and cool out there. A cheese riddle. Excuse me, Giorgio. What do you get when you add mozzarella to an ordinary tomato? <laughs> Something to sing about. That's right. Cheese makes it taste better. So don't forget the cheese. Watch for Eating Smart, sponsored by the National Dairy Board. Time to look ahead into the immediate future and see what's going to be in store for the work week as we head on back to work for midweek. We'll continue to see those steamy 100 degree highs building up over the central part of the country and those steamy 90s as well over much of the east, lower Mississippi Valley. A little cooler for the northeast and parts of the Great Lakes region with some 70 degree readings there. 60s and 80s over much of the Pacific Northwest and it looks like that trend is going to continue. We could even see some 60s stretch their way down into the Great Basin but those 190 degree temperatures will continue to hang on over much of the southern part of the country on into Friday. By the end of that work week, the heat will continue moving its way on up throughout the Plain States with 90 degree readings there. But the cooling will probably move its way over into parts of New York and Pennsylvania. So some nice 60s and 70s for you there. As far as rain, it looks like the strongest storms will be up into the Great Lakes region throughout Michigan and parts of Wisconsin. Also back into the Plain States, Northern Rockies, uh, throughout Montana, and also into Wyoming. And those scattered hit and miss showers along the Gulf Coast once again. If you're heading out, you might want to uh, take along an umbrella throughout the afternoon hours. Isolated thunder showers for Thursday throughout the Four Corners region. A few scattered showers up into the north, uh, western part of the country. But those strong storms again throughout the mid-Atlantic coastal states from parts of Maine all the way down through Boston and back into the Carolinas. You want to probably watch out for that. Also into Friday, some scattered thunder from the lower Mississippi Valley back along the eastern coast, the eastern seaboard, seeing some thunderstorms possible. Also a few showers up into the northeast and out west, those monsoons kicking up again. If you're allergic to things, the difference in Kleenex tissue is reassuring. <laughs> Kleenex has added nothing extra. It's just pure Kleenex tissue, pure and simple. <laughs> Kleenex says bless you. The weather can definitely have an effect on the way you feel. Now, if you're an allergy sufferer, you probably won't want to be doing what these young ladies are doing, be out standing in a field full of uh, a lot of allergens. While we don't have to deal too much with allergens right now, except for the hay fever, we'll get to that in a second. The heat index, first of all, with temperatures well up into the 90s, some areas over the century mark, and lots of humidity to match, dew points. Once you get dew points, they're a measure of how much moisture is actually in the air. When you get dew points in the 60s, that's pretty humid. 70s is getting very humid. We have dew points in the 80s in parts of the central parts of the nation. And you combine that with all that heat, this is the danger category. It's very dangerous to be outside doing any kind of strenuous activity. So just slow down, reduce your level of activity definitely in the heat and humidity, and drink plenty of fluids if you are outside and you're sweating a lot. You will have to replenish those fluids that you're losing, preferably water. To the southeast, to the north, to the west, boy, the mold sports love all this humid weather. They love the moisture, so they're really on the rampage. And as far as the ragweed is concerned, well, some sniffling and sneezing may be going on in the northeast. Hopefully the drought will cut down on the ragweed a bit this year. Homeowners, if you have property that's rugged, overgrown, and out of control like this, here's great news. Introducing the amazing Trailblazer Sickle Bar Mower. The Trailblazer goes where no other mower can go. It charges through tough, wiry field grass with ease, cuts through the thickest underbrush without strain, takes on rugged, overgrown hillsides without tipping or losing traction. 
the Trailblazer even takes down woody brush and small saplings. Plus, the Trailblazer is fast. With power-driven wheels and a big 35-inch cut, you'll make quick work of even the biggest jobs. So, to discover how easily you can take control of your property, the fast, easy Trailblazer way, call toll-free 1-800-453-8500 for complete details on the amazing Trailblazer sickle bar mower. That's 1-800-453-8500. Call today. Operators are standing by. The current conditions. tuned for more local information here on the Weather Channel. When you can't watch the Weather Channel, get your business traveler's forecast and experience the fiber optic quality of U.S. Sprint. Call 1-800-877-4700. Well, as we approach the middle of August, it is just about the middle of August, I think we can admit to being a little bit perplexed in evaluating some of the things we see. On the one hand, we have strong disturbances, just as we have seen for the last couple of weeks. They're moving westward across the Atlantic, but so far, none of these is developing very much, and we don't see anything out there right now that we think is developing all that fast either. We have three waves across the Atlantic. We have one in the Caribbean, another one approaching Florida, and then we have the remnants of that depression that went ashore over the weekend. That came ashore, as you recall, around Jacksonville on Sunday morning, and now the remnants of it are over here on the Florida Panhandle, really not very far from Panama City, kind of drifting off toward the west, but. Uh, Rains, we saw some very heavy rains over the Panhandle last night, but we don't see much wind there, and the pressure's not falling, so there isn't anything to be concerned about immediately. Lots of thunderstorms, as you can see, just east of Florida. What we have there is sort of a tropical wave interacting with this big low that's associated with the remnants of the depression. Also, another area where we have a tropical wave is down here in the Caribbean Sea, just south of Cuba. Certainly some very heavy thunderstorms there. Now, we'll go to the Caribbean, put this in motion for you. And as we put it in motion, you can see what's been going on for about the last 12 hours or so. And here we have this wave coming into the Caribbean Sea. Also, a portion of it extends up north of the island of Hispaniola. Pressures are high there, nothing developing so far. And just to the north end of Panama, we have another cluster of thunderstorms. But across the Atlantic, we have, uh, we'll go out to the Atlantic now, and we'll show you this big, uh, as we, if we could go out to the Atlantic, we'll show you this uh, train of waves that extend all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. And there they are, all the way from the coast of Africa. There's one, there's one halfway across. This uh, westernmost one there in the Atlantic is, uh, that is, uh, it has picked up a few thunderstorms, but we really don't think it's developing very much at all. We'll show you another view of the Atlantic, and there it is, and this is the way we're talking about, five or 600 miles east of Leeward Islands. There's the one in the middle, and a very big one just has come off the coast of Africa, all those moving toward the west about 15 miles per hour. Oatmeal Raisin Crisp? Taste what they've done to my oatmeal. Oatmeal Raisin Crisp is wholesome oatmeal in crispy flakes. Plump raisins, bits of almond, and a touch of brown sugar. Taste what they've done to oatmeal. And we'll take a look at the Florida forecast and see how things are shaping up there. Cloud cover abounding across Florida today, not living up to its nickname of the Sunshine State, unfortunately. Maybe a few breaks up here around Ocala and on up toward Gainesville and Jacksonville. Boy, Jacksonville's seen a lot of rain recently. We have the remnants of that depression moving across the northern parts of the state and lots of tropical moisture, not really associated so much with the depression, but all over southern Florida, as John was telling you, a little bit of a wave, tropical wave moving westward here, and it's just covered up, so not the greatest day to get a suntan, work on that suntan. We're calling it low to moderate as far as the sunshine across the state. Water temperatures, well, they couldn't be better. They're just about in the 80s everywhere, and your air temperatures being kept down a little bit because of the clouds and the showers, 
generally in the upper 80s to the low 90s at Clearwater and near Fort Myers. I'll never lose weight. Rescue me. The puppy wagons here. Rescue me. Whenever cheap cake's near. Avoid temptation with Slim Mint Diet Control Gum. Instant willpower that starts working when you start chewing. Helps rescue you from temptation so you can lose weight. When a pizza meets my eye. Slim Mint Diet Control Gum rescues you so you can lose weight. And now it's time for the Michelin Drivers Report. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. You could encounter those severe thunderstorms and some slick roadways if you're planning any travel up to the northeastern part of the country. Beginning from Interstate 95 all the way back through 87, 81, those roads could be a little slick, so you might want to uh, slow down to avoid any hydroplaning. Those severe thunderstorms going to be mostly popping up throughout the northeastern part of the country back into parts of Pennsylvania and also into West Virginia. Now, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch over much of West Virginia and southern Pennsylvania. That will remain in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern time. And we've got this tornado watch still in effect, and that will remain until about 5 o'clock Eastern time in the areas you do see the shades of red. Rainy travel if you're hitting the road from the southeast from the Carolina coast back down through parts of Alabama and Mississippi. Those slick roadways once again and some showery conditions up into the northeastern part of the country. And those winds will get you probably if you are traveling throughout parts of New York and also down through Pennsylvania. Could be in excess of up to 30 miles per hour. I picked this career because I need a challenge. My job is demanding, but rewarding. That's why I like my new Michelin Sport EPX tires. They can handle just about any demands I make on them. If your lifestyle demands performance, the Michelin Sport EPX delivers. I rely on my tires to get me where news is happening. Great handling in any weather, when I need it. Tonight's news was brought to you by Michelin. Literally. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. The 36 hour forecast. Weather Channel. But that's when the highest storm surge is going Vote to be. in your questions to the Weather Channel hurricane expert, John Hope on Hurricanes, Sunday, August 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. continues this hour. Tom Morlong with Dennis Smith. His song came out all oh, about 20 years ago. It talked about hot town, summer in the city. I guess yep. they were thinking about uh, today it would be appropriate. Especially the heat wave of 1988. Looking back at some of the information we've seen, it looks like Sacramento may set a record for July into August is, you know, the average temperature so warm. That's on the west coast. Then we've got Philadelphia with over 47 days with 90 degrees or greater. And oh. Chicago is about to That's set right. a record this week for the most 90 degree temperatures in one season, incredible. And heat indices up over 120 degrees in the central plains. So let's look at the entire Smith Long Tom Moore. And again, let's show you a satellite review and detail all the action that's been going on. And for the most part, the absence of clouds seems to be the dominant feature on our satellite review. Anywhere from the plains of Texas up through Chicago, from the Twin Cities back to Winnemucca. Lots of sunshine today. There have been some thunderstorms erupting along the Gulf Coast, and even some very hefty ones building up in areas of New England along a frontal boundary as it spreads across the region. But I tell you what, the heat and humidity definitely taking its toll across the country. It's been hot and it's been dry. The drought of 1988 will not be soon forgotten as we look in the southeast, northern plains, and the western plateau in California. Very, very dry. An effect that's taken several years to build up and will take several years to erase as well. In fact, 
actual rainfall, the minimum amount to turn things around would be over 10 to 15 inches. I know you've picked up some rain recently, and I know it's helpful making the grass green up a little bit, helping out the crops just a little bit, but I tell you what, you need a lot more, as much as 10 to 15 inches of rainfall. Maybe we can squeeze at least some of that out of the situation we have on digital radar today. Keep in mind, severe thunder, excuse me, tornado watch remains in effect for central areas of New England till 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and just recently issued a severe thunderstorm watch covering portions of Pennsylvania, uh, as well as Maryland and uh, West Virginia until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Now let's look at some localized radar shots. Our first one will take us into Portland, Maine, seeing the sh uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms still building up from around Augusta, Waterville area, up through around Old Town, and moving on off into the Atlantic, around the Portland area, building back up into New Hampshire. These are slipping to the southeast, get this, 50 miles an hour. Next radar stop will take us into Charleston, West Virginia. Some fast movers here. They're drifting to the southeast at 45, still building up south of uh, around the Columbus area near Athens to Portsmouth to Huntington to Morgantown over towards Charleston, zipping southeast bound 45. Next radar stop into Waycross, Georgia. Hefty thunderstorm over around Live Oak and Lake City down to around Cross City up to Tallahassee and then the thunderstorms curling on back to around Swainsboro and Statesboro in eastern Georgia. They're slipping to the northwest. Our next uh, Radar shot takes us out of Hondo, Texas. South Central Texas still picking up the thunderstorms from Hondo, Catula, over to Victoria, and Corpus Christi. They're widely scattered right now. They continue to build up and advancing on off towards the north and west. Hot day out there as we examine the temperatures right now. We'll check out 100 in St. Louis, 101 in uh, Rapid City. Pure is up to 112 right now, nudging the century mark in Dallas-Fort Worth. Hot out in the west as well. The heat indices, what it actually feels like that outside of very oppressive. In fact, up in the Northeast, a closer examination, up to 100 to 110 degrees to the Ohio Valley and the Southern Plains, not much of a bargain either. We're talking about 100 to maybe as much as 15, 110 across this region. Be prepared for the heat. I should have bought a frigid air. There's only one frigid air. I should have bought a frigid air. Ask for it by name. I'll take the frigid air. Now. Frigidaire, here today, here tomorrow. See the Frigidaire dealer nearest you. Time to see how the weather can affect the way we feel. And the heat is just the biggest uh, item of the day in the middle of the country. Dennis showed you the heat indices, incredible, well over 100 degrees, not only in the middle of the country, but also on the eastern seaboard around the Washington, D.C. area. Mold spores high in the area shaded in orange, and they're getting a little more prolific lately. Ragweed's become more of a problem as well. Moderate throughout the upper Mississippi Valley, the Great Lakes to the mid-Atlantic area, and rather high in New York State, on up toward New England, Dennis. Time once again for our Boat and Beach Report, and it is sponsored by BVD Underwear. America, do it better, do it in your BVDs. As we check out the status in the Northeast, few problems in the Great Lakes, Small craft advisories, Lake Superior back through Lake Huron as well as uh, dropping on off into the uh, areas of Lake Erie in Ontario, also affecting the region from Eastport, Maine to Watch Hill, Rhode Island. Now, water temperature is still quite warm in the 70s. In fact, yesterday reported in Buffalo, New York, in Lake Erie, 80 degrees. That's one of the warmest temperatures.